Hi, this is Jules and welcome to my channel. Um, a lot of people have been asking me um, about inventory. You know, sometimes when you buy products and you buy a lot of products, you want to have a system where you can check your inventory and like to make sure that you have um, everything is recorded. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now I have a very simple um, uh, process of uh, keeping inventory. So it starts with a mobile app called Store Controller. So you go to Play Store or Apple Store, whichever one. Play Store or Apple Store, whichever one works for you. And then you type Stock Controller. And there are several other um, inventory applications, but Stock Controller is very simple and it works very well for me. So this is it um, by XNR SISB. So you just pick that and so if if this is if, if you don't have it it would say install where it says open here and then you'd install it like you would any normal application so i'll run it so you see how it looks like so this is it so this is um, my information um, this is my inventory value the items in inventory and everything so now it gives you so many options. I could hit the sidebar here. So you have your data, your transactions, your transfers, etc. So first you want to add your products to the system. So this is what you do. You go over here. Um, the, the display button over here has lots of stuff. And then you go for add data. Now you have to add your warehouse first. So select a name for a warehouse. Um, it could it could be anything. It could be your personal house. So you can just put my house right there. Uh, you can put in a code. Just HS anything. Description and location is not exactly exactly necessary. So you can leave those blank. Then you hit save. So now you have a warehouse. Um, then product type I like to put this in because sometimes um, you want to categorize the stuff you have but if you have just one simple product you don't really need this um, next is add a product this is super important so this is what opens up so now you have an option to add a photo um, you can choose from the gallery or take a photo or just leave it blank so you name the product, maybe it's a TV, <laughs> and the code can be TTT, whatever you choose. Now that this is where the type comes in. So um, if you have different types of products, you can just put them in here. And the units as well, um, depends on the type of products. So you can put the units here if, yeah. Then the description is not necessary because you know your product. Um, but if you're sharing this application with somebody else, maybe you might want to add a description. Then the price is here. So if the price is, what, 10 CDs, 20 CDs, whatever the price you'd like to sell it, you put that in here. And then the tax applied. If you have a tax system, you put it there with 17.5 or whatever tax tax you, you use you put it in there and sometimes you want to have an alert to know if your inventory levels are low so that you restock if you're a really busy person this is so important so you want it to get to a level where um, it alerts you so that you can replenish it sometimes I go with like single digits so if it's just left with five, then you let it know. But based on how well your product sells, you get your own number. Now the barcode, if you use a barcode system, you can just put your barcode number here. I don't, so I leave it blank. Then I just hit save, and then that product has been saved successfully. So now the question is, what happens when someone... Aha, so after you save the, the product in the warehouse, etc., now you want to add the inventory. So now let's just say the TV that I saved, let's just say I bought like 10 TVs. So I have to key it in. So I go to add inventory. Then uh, this is 
this is provider i should have told you about that but it's not super necessary either and so i get this is like aliexpress like products i get from aliexpress so i'll explain why you'd want to do this in another video so now it automatically generates an invoice number so that you can record it but you can also put in your own personal invoice number maybe the date or where it came from the time anything is fine comments are uh, comments are not particularly necessary but you could so now the now you search name you put the product here i think it said tv yes tv so you come all the way down here and you see it's highlighted it's um, tv and it's put one there so if i bought 10 tvs i will put the 10 here you can use the plus or minus buttons or you can just type it manually 10 and then you hit save and that's it now it's recorded that you have 10 tvs in your warehouse now if someone buys a tv all you have to do is re go to remove inventory and then uh wherever it whatever so this is supposed to be sort of like a receipt or an invoice so invoice number it will automatically generate for you you can leave comments here and then you now here's the important part to search the product tv right so when you search the product tv it comes up here and let's just say someone bought two tvs so you just put two here and it automatically generates the price or the cost of two then you hit save and voila now what i really like about this particular application is the fact that it gives you statistics so when you go to statistics you can check your general overview um, the general number of things that you've sold the general number of things you've bought uh, your top clients number of people who bought frequently from you the number of products that are selling the most so it's it has so much statistics here and you can export all this information onto um, uh, your your lap your device like your mobile device or on your pc it will send an email to you and you can also make scheduled um, exports because maybe you want to know the number of items you sell every month. So every month it would send you an email with this information. So this is how I keep my inventory uh, with stock controller. So I'm leaving the link to um, this application in the description but you can just find it on the app store or play store thank you for watching bye